And hello and welcome to Mondays with Miles here on Double A Zone. I'm Anthony Calhoun along with the NCAA president, President Miles Brand. Always good to see you, my good friend. Good to see you, AC. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to this Mondays with Miles, a new segment this year, and it looks like we're going to have a lot of fun this year. We're going to have a lot of fun with it, but we'll also take on some difficult issues. We'll address them in a candid way. Everything's on the table. Let's go at it. As, you're right about that. And as you mentioned, we're not only we're going to be talking about the hot topics, but also, as you mentioned, the serious topics as well that are affecting a lot of the institutions involved with the NCAA. Absolutely right. All right. Well, the Double A Zone is where you can see Mondays with Miles every Monday, of course, throughout the week here on the Double A Zone. I also want to remind you that don't forget to send us some of your comments because each week we'll be talking about different topics. We'll love to hear your thoughts about those topics. Also, if you have some ideas for us to share with you each week on Mondays with Miles. Our topic for this week is the state of the association. And, and Miles, let's talk first of all, coming up later this week, you will be having the NCAA convention taking place in Washington, D.C. Uh, what will be your message this week? Well, the convention, of course, is that one time of year, AC, in which we bring all our membership together to talk about those issues that are most relevant to the future of intercollegiate athletics and dealing with the hard topics. And, and there are a number of such issues facing intercollegiate athletics, but the one I'm going to really focus in on, and it's a provocative issue, is commercialism yeah. in intercollegiate athletics, how the student athletes and how the institutions are being affected by the growth of commercialism, the growth of TV, which on the one hand is very good, but on the other hand, actually threaten some of our amateurism status. So how do you reach that balance is, is what I'm going to try and address. Yeah, and that's not an easy topic to talk about these days. It's not an easy topic to talk about because our universities are under a lot of financial pressure, including our athletic programs. And obviously, particularly in Division I, they're going to need the resources in order to continue, in order to pay for the bonds for the, uh, the stadium, but also for the coaches and the travel and, and so on. And, but on the other hand, you don't want to have so much commercialism, it actually ruins the college game. Where is that, that important balance point? Yeah. Where do things get overwrought and difficult, and where do we feel comfortable? Well, if commercialism is here to stay, does anything go, though? Uh, well, I, I think the most important part, you know, the anchor of all this, is the student athlete. Yeah. What really differentiates the professional game uh, from the college game is the status of the student athletes. They are students and not paid professionals. And you have to build everything around that. Mm -hmm. I, I guess most people are wondering, aren't the universities themselves, in a way, though, kind of exploiting the student athletes for financial gain? Some, gain? some people may wonder about that. I don't think so. It's a fair question to ask, but I don't think so. Uh, student athletes get all the athletic training, of course, that, that's important. But most importantly, they get an education. They're students first. You know, there are a small handful, a very small handful, that will go to the professional leagues. We're interested in 400,000 student athletes across all our institutions and divisions. And we want to make sure that they're treated well, they're treated like students. Getting a grant and aid in divisions one and two to participate in athletics is not exploitation. Yeah. Some say it's a free ride. It's not a free ride either. It's hard work for the student athletes, but the gains that they receive by that education is, yeah. is of a lifetime value. Yeah, and I just remember my days at Syracuse and being around other student athletes and just having the opportunities once, yes, they're, they're playing football and they play basketball or tennis, but they're given the opportunity of free education, which is, which is priceless. It, it really is. And, and I want to emphasize the point you just made, opportunity. Yeah. Because the students themselves have to do the studying and take the test, so they have a responsibility. But that's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and it lasts forever. So I don't think they're exploited. I think uh, just uh, radical critics may say that, but just the opposite. I think they're part of a, a great opportunity on their campuses. Well, it's going to be a great week in Washington, D.C. Uh, you, do you, you, you must enjoy these conventions, right, each year? I definitely enjoy the conventions. Everyone is excited, working hard to see all everyone so focused on how to make athletics better. It, it, it's a great community to be part of. All right. Well, this is going to do it for this week's edition of Mondays with Miles. Don't forget to send us more, all your comments and other things as well at the Double A Zone, right here on the Double A Zone with Mondays with Miles. All right. So for President Brand, I'm Anthony Calhoun. We'll see you next week for another edition of Mondays with Miles.